Hey, good morning. Good to see you. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good day, wherever you're at. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to find wherever your drum kits are, right? So in this case, I'm going to use Marshall Beats uh, Supreme Cigarettes Drum Kit. This is a really good drum kit that I found here on YouTube. Um, I'll link to it in my article. So here it is right here. I got it. I got it open on my interface right now. I'm going to hit the download. And of course, we've got to wait for it to download. So you hit download once it appears, and then it's going to go into your browser download folder, right? So there it is. It's sitting right there. Um, so typically that these will usually go into your recents folder. So you click on your files app, make sure you have the files app, by the way, you download it from the app store. So here it is, it's sitting right here. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to drag it. I'm going to drag it to on my iPad, then GarageBand iOS and GarageBand file transfer. And there we go. So now it's it's here where it needs to be. It needs to be in the GarageBand file transfer folder. I'm going to delete the zip file. But one thing that's important to note about GarageBand file transfer, which is the folder that the operating system for whatever reason needs to use. But the thing about it is that the file transfer folder in GarageBand doesn't like folders. So what you need to do is you actually need to select all of your files like so. So your individual audio files is what I'm trying to tell you. So you you go like this. And then you're going to move it right here. So there, now our GarageBand file transfer folder, we have all of our files. It's pulled out of the folder and it's actually in the GarageBand file transfer folder. That's key. So you would want to do that for all of them, by the way. You want to have everything in the file transfer folder like that. So from here on out, we're going to open up GarageBand. We're just going to open a brand new project and we're going to go to our sampler, right? Where's our sampler? Sampler. So now we got our sampler open. You're going to click on Bark. Then you're going to click on import and now you're going to see that all your samples are just sitting here like this now you'll notice that the supreme cigarettes drum kit the folder it's down there and it's grayed out and it's grayed out for the reason i told you earlier which is that GarageBand doesn't like folders so we're going to preview some of them they're all pretty good too some of them will will say it's a 32-bit format and that it can't be used it's lying to you you can use it anyway so what you want to do is you just download it. You see this blue dot download button right here? You download it like that, and there we go. Um, you can hit done. And then you just hit record. It's a bit of latency right now because I'm using Bluetooth speakers, but that's neither here nor there. So there we go. So that what you would do is you would open up a new track and you would continue the process again. So let's go uh, import again. Let's just say we're using another 808 as the next instrument. So we're gonna use that. There, 808 two. Then we're gonna record. So you would just continue on, on on and on until you finish out the drum kit or you fill out the drum kit. Now, personally, I hate this. I don't like using this at all, but this is the way GarageBand iOS works. Um, by the way, I've got a present for you. Go to producersociety.com slash free mixing cheat sheet. I'll give you a free mixing cheat sheet. That'll put you on my list and then I send all kinds of free stuff and tips and whatnot. And I'm building a community so you could be a part of that if you wanted to. I'm gonna show you an alternative though. I'm gonna show you a, a premium sampler. I'm, this isn't a paid link or an advertisement or, or an affiliate link or anything. It's just a genuinely good sampler. I'm gonna show you what it is because it solves all these problems and it's only like 10 bucks. I would highly recommend looking into it for yourself. <clears throat> but yeah, so I already paid for mine. It's super awesome, I love it. Um, it's called Citala. You can see it right here. So you just download it as you normally would, right? Open up a project and then you're gonna open up a track and you're gonna go all the way to external. And then there you go, there's the Citala. Now what's special about the Citala? There's many things that are special about it, but the thing that stood out to me right away is that your, your entire interface is right before you. You know, you got your keys, there's the NPC style pads right there and you have your, all, all your shifting parameters or your adjustment parameters. So you can just map out your NPC pads right from the interface. You don't need to move your stuff around to file transfer, GarageBand file transfer, any of that. So what you, what you do is you just click on your, your pad of choice, whatever it is. We're gonna start with the kick and I'm gonna choose add location. And then I'm gonna go to wherever my, uh, my music production files are stored, which I use it, a special folder for it. I recommend you do the same thing. 
So here's the music production files folder. I'm going to click on that. And then uh, I'm going to click on Supreme Cigarettes and I'm going to hit open. There we go. Supreme Cigarettes 5. That's where we are, the drum kit 5. So there we go. Now they're all sitting there waiting. And so uh, let's load in a kick first. So let's get the kick one in there. All right. So here's the snare. Let's load in the snare now. Snare. Let's do snare one. There's closed hi hat. Let's load. Let's load in a closed hi hat. Let's, let's open in. A, let's get an open hi hat in there. Or we'll just add another hi hat like that. Okay. So then you just continue on and on until you're done with the pad. But this is you can just save it and you can load this preset again, um, as you know, anytime you want. So you can have. 50 different uh, drum kits right in this sampler and it saves it saves easy it's it's efficient um, it's re it's really awesome so I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go save kit and we're gonna go uh, example kit one and then we're gonna choose add so, <clears throat> so there we go example kit one now here's another kit that I already loaded in here I call it the supreme kit so let's load that in there And then uh, they also have their own presets. You got Hip Hop Ultra, which is awesome. I like the kick and snare of that one. Then you got your future retro pop. But anyway, yeah, so you can just load in as many drum kits as you want, use them whenever you want. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I love this plugin. You don't have to get it if you don't want, uh, of course, but uh, I couldn't recommend it enough for GarageBand iOS. It solves so many problems that, um, you know, that exist with the GarageBand sampler.